All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got another product review, and today's product is Red Odeo's 500 amp battery monitor. First off, as soon as you open the box, you have the product manual, got some foam, and look at that display. So it's 8 volts to 120 volt, give you plenty of cable. You got power cord. I like that it's already got the connector on the end. And then the other end is just bare wire. Comes with a little screwdriver. Got a little pack. It's got some screws in it. And here's the battery shunt. That's solid. So I like how it's got the battery negative. Whatever your power is negative. The product manual is absolutely put together. I mean, I love it. Unfortunately, I do not see anything that talks about Bluetooth. So therefore, that's going to turn a lot of people off on this product. To test this battery shunt out, we're going to use Red Odeo's 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery. We're going to hook all this up. This battery is fully charged and it's ready for a capacity test. Now this battery is, I think, close to a year old. And so it'll be a good one year battery test on capacity. So I'm not going to tighten that all the way down yet because I need to get this onto there. Alright, negative zone. Alright, now we can just tighten this part right here up. We're not paying attention. You could chip that. So you kind of got to lean your wrench out so you don't hit that. This right here. Also, this battery shunt, the bolts are bigger than your standard inverter cables. So you're probably going to have to make some cables. You need a larger uh, terminal to go on this. Alright, just leave that kind of loose. Go ahead and get this side hooked up. As well okay that's in there we'll just unscrew one time okay it's in there and then tighten it back up Get a little snug I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on there just like so and get this side hooked up and we're gonna tighten it up before we connect these right here we're gonna do a little trick with one of these little resistors so that we're giving it just enough juice to power the capacitors up without sparking and causing something to surge. Now then once that's good and charged, I feel like that's done its job. We'll take and we'll stick that on there. And you notice there was no spark. Yep, the last step says hook the display up. This pack right here. By plugging it straight into here. And that's all the way in just like so all right it says the next step you press and hold the enter button down here press and hold okay there we go cap all right I guess this is press enter press enter so this is a 200 amp hour battery that's the capacity okay so we hit the back button yeah and then full resting voltage it's going to be 14.1 is what I noted. Or no, 14.2. All right, press the back button. So let's back out of everything. Oh yeah, cool. Press and hold the up key to reset it to 100%. Press and hold the down key to reset it to a 0%. So we're at 200 amp hours, 100%. So now we got to run this down till it cuts off. And then we can set it for its zero voltage. Got everything hooked up, ready to go. Let's turn the inverter on. The battery shunt's reading 14.1. I got a 1500 watt heat gun. All right, let's see, we probably gotta turn this off and turn it back on to reset it. Just cut it on low. So now I'm gonna 
cut the inverter off. So now we have no power here. Okay, I got my power supply. Uh, this is all I have to charge it overnight with because I don't have a normal charger and I don't have sunlight. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna adjust the voltage. We wanna make sure it stays on controlled voltage. We're gonna get the voltage up to 14.2. We'll fine tune it. I think that'll work, 14.2. That's what we're gonna try. It's cranked right to that. All right, we are getting Let's crank the amperage up. All right, there we go. We got 116 watts coming in. That's the max I can do on this. The machine itself is saying 124 watts. All right, guys, I'm about to stop it right here. Things that I like about it is the price. It's under $70. So I like how easy it is to set up and this manual helps that process go pretty smoothly. It's got a lot of good information and a lot of good diagrams in here. So that's a big plus. Another big thing that I like about it is the screen. I like how all the information is just right there. There's no scrolling through the screens to find the information. So that's a big plus. All right, the downsides on this product. What a lot of you probably will not like about this product. First, the biggest one, it's not Bluetooth compatible. It don't have an app or anything like that. It's 2024, we should have Bluetooth on our battery shunts. Another downside I would say is the design of the battery shunt, the way this motherboard rests on top of the shunt, it really leaves you exposed for damage when installing or removing any cables from this because the way that board sits out, it's right in the way when you're loosening and tightening these bolts. Another downside to this product is I believe that it should come with a terminal in and I believe it should come with two, one for each side. That way you'll have a terminal in for your connections. As of right now, if you purchase this product, you're also going to have to purchase terminal ends to fit this, especially if you're depending on the factory cables from your inverter. Those cables will not have a big enough terminal connection. To connect to these bolts with all that being said i still find this to be a really good product it's really neat i love the display i wish it had bluetooth all right guys that's going to wrap this video up i appreciate you watching hopefully that helps you make a decision whether or not you want this battery shunt or maybe a, a different kind of battery shunt this was really cool but i think what i'm gonna like even more from them and that's going to be their 40 amp charge controller and I'll see you there. Peace. All right, guys, I want to make note that we did a capacity test on this battery. After one year, it still does its full 200 amp hour discharge and charge. I'm really impressed with this battery. Red Odeo, you did a good job. Thank you all. And hope you like the capacity test.